Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. That is cool. I can't wait to watch that, dude. That's Has he got right. V-brakes? Yes. Has it. So what do you do to the V-brakes to make them work well enough? Oh, good question. Um, good cables. Nice stick yeah. cables. Do you use gear uh, cables? I remember I used to use gear cables on my Monty. Well, I actually... Um, not, I didn't get into arguments about this. I had this, some discussions uh, because... <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, when, lads. Come on. When I, <laughs> when I did the bike build video, I used a linear cable, which is how gear cable is built. And people say, no, you can't use that cable. That's dangerous. And all of a it's like, no, that's fine. Um, it's built the same way as gear cable, but oversized to fit a brake cable. Or designed, advertised, or sold as a brake cable. I've used this type of cable for 10 years previously. It's, it's fine. So, yeah, I used linear cable. But five mil out there, so it fits a brake. Ah, nice. Okay. So it, it doesn't. I'm amazed people argue with you about get, breaking gear cables, man. Yeah. We're in a pandemic, I know, but I wouldn't <laughs> be like quick to. Just, <coughs> you can't no. use that; it's dangerous. Um, but the main thing to make the back brake better is I take an angle grinder to the rim and roughen up the surface, uh, and. Yeah then you can buy special brake pads to run on the rougher surface, but I actually make my own brake pads um, out of polyurethane. This guy. No really? way. Yeah. Scientist. Uh, honestly, like, back when I used to do competitions, I e brakes were my brakes of choice. They were awesome. Um, I spent so long buying different uh, durometers, uh, chemical mix-ups of uh, polyurethane and other types of rubbers and plastics, uh, experimenting with brake pads. I actually sold brake pads um, <laughs> under the name Joy Pads for a short time. No uh, way. Yeah. Wow. Um, I wouldn't do that these days, too many lawyers around. Um, but yeah, I make my own brake pads and uh, it make, yeah, a ground rim, textured rim with specific pads, the brake's not going to slip. Do you use Fanta at all or Coca-Cola? No. Nope. Classic you, you that one. Do, I used to, uh, people used to find and go and pick bits of tar out the road and you rub the tar on your brakes. Really? And, uh, some people would uh, just have like a huge grip. I remember one time I found a lump of tar the size of my head. And yeah, that's like the best find ever as a trial. <laughs> <laughs> but the downside of that stuff is as soon as it gets wet, you don't have a brake. It's right. slick as anything. So that's why we take a an angle ground to the rim because that works wet, dry, whatever. Mm. Bloody hell, there you go. Interesting, yeah. It is, yeah. Do you, would you, what, what do you use on like your modern competition bike now? My modern, if I, an actual competition bike? Yeah, uh, let's say an actual com competition bike, not like uh, a street bike. If I was going to enter the British Championship right now, I would yeah. still use a V-brake. A V-brake? A V-brake. No yeah. way! Really? Um, a few reasons. Uh, obviously, Maguras, uh, the HS33, uh, is a break of choice for probably 99% of people. But And they work great. Uh, they're just not quite for me. The main thing is I get a lot of arm pump um, riding trials competitions. The Maguras, the HS33, is a hydraulic brake. You can't adjust the spring tension. So the factory spring tension is actually pretty... It's a strong spring. So if I happen to pull against quite a strong spring, and that really does make my arms get tired really quickly. A V brake, you can adjust the spring tension to make them as light as you want. And honestly, a well set up V brake with good cables, nicely lube, you could blow on it and it'll, it'll activate. Dude, um, I never knew Ali C was a was that's a brake super cool. This is yeah. well interesting. <laughs> um, like the day I swapped from a hydraulic rim brake to a V brake, my arm pump just went away, disappeared. Oh, and what specific V brake is it? Because there's loads of them out there. So what is the specific combination? Yeah. Lever and lever. Where's that come from? Lever and <laughs> lever, dude. <laughs> lever, dude. What lever are you running, dude? Uh, uh, I uh, lever wise, yeah. I like the Avid SD7 because it has uh, a little dial which changes the mechanical leverage, so you can actually adjust more power into the brake. If you get tired and you don't want to pull the brake as hard, you can uh, uh, dial in more power, but it does make the brake more spongy. Okay. Uh, Caliper-wise, probably something like Shimano Dior's. Yeah, it doesn't really okay. matter. 
doesn't really yeah. matter really what the arms are. You say if the arms, yeah. if you break arms. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's been a long time, mate. What it's been about a long mechanical time. discs? Could you not do the same sort of thing with a mechanical disc and have yeah. an advantage? Or and that's really? it. The Avid BB7 was, before everyone became a weight weenie, a super, probably the most popular front brake for trials riders, uh, cable front brake. But generally, you don't go for a disc brake on the back for a competition-style bike. Um, one being the weight. If you've got a big old steel rotor attached to the back end of your bike, you're going to notice that. Secondly, they get so easily damaged when you're on your back wheel in between <sighs> blocks. Mm. You're going to... Uh, say if you miss a move like a side hop, you're going to land directly on the rear disc and it's game over if you hit that. Uh, thirdly, it's not as accurate. So a disc brake obviously locks the wheel at the hub. You're still yeah. going to have some spoke flex and that gets really amplified by the time you get to the tyre. So like half a mil of movement down at the hub uh, equals like almost a centimetre of movement at the tyre. And when you need to be millimetre accurate on the back wheel, you don't want to have any movement at all. So lock Dude, in. <laughs> lock this away. guy. It's a school day. Jeez. <laughs> this so guy. Lock, locking the wheel at the rim is a much solid way. It's much more precise. It's lighter, harder to damage. And yeah, for trials riding has a lot more advantages. 